ATA for blowing up at my sister because her husband's behavior is not my fault? Original post, October 23, 2024. I, 26F, live in a small town with a lot of family. Aunts, uncles, cousins, grandparents, basically everyone related to me lives here. My sister Lilia, 28F, married her husband Sean, M31, last year. I don't know him very well, but I don't have a problem with him either. Every other weekend, my mom will host a party type thing for the whole family. There's food, decorations, music, etc. Everyone has a blast. A few months ago, my sister started acting kind of strange at these parties. Her husband isn't a very social person from what I can tell. He usually stands off to the side, sometimes without food. Lilia started making comments, usually to our immediate family, but sometimes to anyone who'll listen, about how Sean thinks the decorations look tacky or Sean thinks the music is too loud. At first it was basically harmless, but the comments got worse and worse. She started saying things like that outside of family parties, too. The weekend before last, she made small talk for a while before saying, hmm, Sean doesn't look like he's having a good time. I don't think he likes the food very much. I can't really blame him. We don't usually eat at low-class restaurants like yours. Her comments always pissed me off, but this pushed me pretty hard. My mom works really hard to make delicious food for these parties. She's a chef at Olive Garden. I guess my mom could tell I was getting upset, so she pulled me aside and told me not say anything to Lilia, that it wasn't a big, stuff like that. I respected her wishes, even though I really wanted to stand up for her. Last week, Lilia called and said Sean's best friend is getting married. I'm a wedding planner, and she wants me to plan the wedding. I said sure. This weekend, Sean's best friend and his fiancé had a joint bachelor and bachelorette party. Lilia is a bridesmaid. She invited me to come along so I could meet the bride and groom, and probably officially become their wedding planner. When I arrived at the club, Lilia immediately grabbed my wrist and pulled me to the bathroom. She said, Sean isn't happy. No one will take you seriously as a wedding planner if you dress like a slut. You embarrassed him, and now, the groom, will blame him for recommending a shitty planner. I had enough of her at that point. It felt like she was just using Sean as an excuse to voice her own opinion. I said, if Sean thinks I'm a shitty wedding planner for dressing normally for a damn club, he can get, the groom, a new wedding planner. I walked out and went home. Ada? AITA has no consensus bot. Oop was NTA relevant comment. Commenter 1. Info. Is Sean like, actually saying this stuff? I'm half convinced your sister is moving him around weekend at Bernie's style. If all he does is sit in the corner at family parties and not say anything I'd A. Check for a pulse and B. Start talking to him directly. Oop. I've never heard him actually say any of this stuff. I'm going to talk to him at the next family party, presumably after my sister makes another rude comment, and see if he knows what the hell I'm talking about. Top comments. Commenter 2. Is Sean a telepath? Or a very talented ventriloquist who talks about himself in the third person through your sister? NTA always stand up for yourself and your family. Commenter 3. NTA. Your sister sounds exhausting. And rude. It also sounds like she has a ridiculous number of insecurity. Has anyone actually ever discussed any of the issues with Sean? Because it's entirely possible your sister is projecting those insecurities into criticism she thinks he might have. Be a rebel. Every time your sister says something rude that Sean thinks, walk up to Sean and politely ask if it's true. If your sister panics, then you know she's making it up. I wouldn't touch the wedding planning job with a 10 meter pole, if your sister will be involved in any way. That's a truckload of drama you do not need in your life. Update number 1, October 24th, 2024. Okay, here's the update. Thank you everyone for your great comments and advice. I posted this in the comments of the original, too. Here's the link to the original post. I ended up inviting Sean and Lilia out to lunch. Lilia was still a little upset that I had dressed like a slut at the club, but mostly things went fine. Before we left, I asked Sean if he thought my outfit at the club was inappropriate. He said no. I asked if thought my mother's cooking was bad. He said no again, this time he looked more confused. Before I could ask him about another comment, Lilia grabbed his arm and pulled him up. She said they had to go. Sean looked even more confused and told Lilia he wanted to hear what I was going to ask next. She looked visibly angry, and after I asked him if he thought the decorations were tacky Lilia said, if you're not coming, I'm leaving without you. She ran to the car before either of us could stop her. Sean was really confused now and asked why I thought he didn't like the food, etc. I told him the whole story of how Lilia was telling me and my immediate family he was saying rude things. He looked completely shocked now. He said he never said any of those things, and that he thinks the parties are wonderful. He explained he's just a little antisocial and gets nervous around people he doesn't know well, which I totally get. He apologized if anything he did was offensive, but I said there was no need for an apology. I gave him a ride home, Lilia took off with their car. When we got there my sister's car wasn't in the driveway. I went to my mom's house next to drop off some stuff I had for her in the car. When I got there, Lilia's car was parked outside. She was sitting at the dining table crying, and my mom was doing her best comfort her. When my sister saw me, she started crying even harder. I sat down and waited until she could calm down. When she finally did, 
I gently asked why she was saying all those things. Lilia said, I don't know. To make you hate him, I guess. My mom asked why she wanted us to hate him. She kept replying to our questions with I don't knows before admitting the truth. She said she'd been feeling jealous since our brother Eric got married. She felt like he was getting all the attention, especially when his wife announced her pregnancy. She also said Eric was always the golden child growing up, and she wanted people to notice her just this once. I never thought he was the golden child. In fact Lilia seemed to be favored over him. But maybe I was too wrapped up in my own stuff to notice. My sister decided to stir up some drama to get the attention back on her. She used Sean because no one in the family knew him very well and it was easy because he doesn't interact with a lot of people. She claimed she wanted the attention so badly, even if it was negative. She wanted to see how far we'd let her go before one of us snapped. After a long talk, she promised never to do anything like this again, and admitted she mostly did all this out of resentment toward Eric for always stealing the spotlight. My mom promised to pay more attention to her, and she apologized if she ever made Lilia feel like Eric was better than her. We all hugged it out. Earlier tonight, Lilia called me and said she and Sean were going to try couples therapy, and she was going to get individual therapy for herself. I said I was happy for her and she can come to me if she ever needs anything. I guess that's it. I'll update again if anything else happens. Relevant comments. Commenter 1. Dang. Personally, I would never trust Lilia with anything ever again especially because she craved attention so much she didn't care if it made her partner, a man she supposedly loves, into the bad guy. What's stopping her from doing that to any one of you if she could do that to the man she made vows with? My mom promised to pay more attention to her, and she apologized if she ever made Lilia feel like Eric was better than her. I don't really like this response to be honest. Lilia straight up admitted she wanted people to hate Sean for no reason and she gets rewarded with love and more attention. Oop, my mom has stage 4 cancer, and we don't know how much longer she'll be here. I completely understand wanting this all to just be over and cherishing the time she has is left with her daughter. But in a different situation, I 100% agree that this wouldn't be a great response. Commenter 2, is Lilia the middle child? Oop, no, she's the oldest. Eric is the middle child. Commenter 3, honestly op, if I were you I'd give your sister some LC space. Because she's acted horribly to all of you and at her poor husband's expense. All because she didn't have enough attention. She needs help and you need to stay away from her for a bit. She's just drama at this point. You can still be there for your mom while keeping low contact with your sister. Stop making excuses for her. Oop, I would, but I think a lot of this was caused by mom's declining health. I want to be there for all of my family if the worst were to happen. My mom wants Olive to be there for her as a family. If I went low contact, it would really hurt my mom and cause other damage to the family. I also think this is just Lilia's way of dealing with the grief of possibly losing our mom. It doesn't excuse her behavior of course, but I can't go low contact now when she needs me. Update number 2. October 25th, 2024. Hi again. I wanted to give a mini update and answer some questions I've seen in the comments. I am 26, Eric is 27, and Lilia is 28. I didn't end up planning Sean's best friend's wedding. I found that the wedding is in two weeks, and they were scrambling to put everything together, confirm everything, even book some things last minute. So no, I didn't take that job. I am not trying to justify Lilia's actions in any way. I agree that she really needs therapy. I'm just trying to help people understand why I'm not going no contact with her. First, there's our mom. If if I personally wanted to cut contact with her, our mom has cancer. She wants us to be together as a family for her, and I respect that. Also, I would love someone who's cut off a family member to comment and explain how it all went, especially someone who lives in the same town as a lot of family. My hunch is, it's not easy. I probably should have put this in the original post, but I'm saying it now. My father died when I was 19 in a bad car crash. Lilia was really close to him. My sister has been my best friend since I was born. That's not something I want to throw away over one incident. Yes it was wrong, yes I am angry at her, yes it will take a long time for me to trust her again, but I still love her. She's done so much for me, punched someone who was bullying me in the face, worked double shifts to help with my tuition, never once left my side when I suspected my ex was stalking me, and that's just to name a few. I don't think she's a terrible person. I think she screwed up out of fear for our mom and the trauma of losing our dad. The jealousy part could also be true, she's always been a very jealous person. It will take time for me to forgive her, but I think we can work things out. Now onto the mini update. I spoke with mom today. She's also angry at Lilia, of course, but she wants to keep the peace at least until her time comes. She said conspiratorially at the next party, Sean's going to pull a Lilia set on her. Half joking, though it would be funny if it really happened. I spoke to Sean too. He's the angriest out of us, but he said he loves her and is going to try to work things out. They start couples therapy on Saturday, and Lilia starts individual therapy tomorrow. I wished him the best. Relevant comments. Oop on keeping a low contact relationship with her sister at the point when their mother passes on. Oop, thank you. If my sister kept acting like this, then I would definitely cut contact, or at the very least very low contact. I honestly think this was just a moment of weakness for her though. She's never acted like this before and I think she just needed an outlet to let out her bottled up emotion. Not saying I forgive her, just that at this moment I still want a relationship with her.